from where we left off last time, um, we were able to get the everything on the screen. It works, and we had the score up there. Now, um, if you notice that the score is actually in the Comic Sans that I had wanted, but I had realized uh, that I actually spelled it wrong. So on your computer, for some reason on my computer, it was just not going through when, when, I, uh, when, when, when I tried to type it in. But you guys can actually change the last two letters. I think I, I forgot what I had written, but it was supposed to be uh, comic, right? C-O-M-I-C-S-A-N-S-M-S. -S -S. And that should work on your computer. Uh, for some reason, it was not working on mine, and so I had to enter the actual um, uh, link to it. And so now it'll work on mine, but I don't think you need to do this for yours. Um, okay, so what we need to do now is that if I run this again, right? What do you? Well, what should happen every single time that I eat an apple, right? So I'm doing all this stuff. It's going great, but then now at the top, I don't actually know how many apples I've eaten by now because the score is not updating. So the way that we need to do that is we need to go all the way down here, okay? And we need to increase the score. But in order to do that, first we need a score. So let's go, not by the sprites, but we can actually just go maybe right here. I'll put score equals to zero. Okay, um, and you're probably wondering like, why am I putting it here and not anywhere else? Um, and there is a reason for that. And I, we are gonna go through that. So here my score is equal to zero. Okay, and what else we need to do is we need to come down here and we want to display that score to the screen right so plus um score now if i just write this all right this isn't going to work out that well because let me just show you why actually it's good to go through all the errors so there's this is the error that i'm sure so many people have seen before right it can only concatenate string not int to string so we have our string, but remember this is an int, and it can a, a, it's an integer, so we can't just display and combine both of them like that. We need to convert this integer to a number, all right? And if we were to go ahead and run that now, let's see. So there's the score equals to zero, but I'm eating the apple, and what's happening when I, oh, well, I died. Let's try that again. Okay. All right. So I'm eating the, whoa, I am not working out today. It's not good. All right. So I'm eating the apple and you'll notice that the score actually stayed at zero. It did not increase. Um, so why is that actually? Well, if inside of here, we never actually told the score to increase. Right now it's at zero and we never did that. And we, 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 we never told them, hey, if you eat an apple, increase the score. So we need to check somewhere where would that occur right um check if the snake is off the screen no check if the snake eats the apple yes right if they collide we draw a new apple and then we're going to increase the score so score plus equals one okay that means we're going to take the score and we're going to add one and then assign that new score back to the variable score so then if it's at zero we add one and it becomes one if it's at one we add one it becomes two Okay, so now if I run this, it might work. Okay, so let's see. Uh, bam. So there's one. Okay, so it's definitely working there too. Ooh. Oh, I, I, I'm really not good today at my own game. Hold on a second. I need to get to like three. I'm happy if I get to three. One. Yeah. Oh, snap. Okay. Hold on. Just get the three. Yes. Okay. I'm happy with that. Just because, like, it was getting crazy. Um, all right. So that's the score. Now, what I did want to go through really quickly is why did I put it here? Now, if, if I'm going to, I'm going to actually take this out and I am going to just place it here. Right there. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's, it's still within the same uh, main loop, right? Uh, but now, if I run this, uh, not the command. Let's run the actual program. Okay. So, if I go ahead and I eat an apple, let's see what happens. 
Well, okay, so this is gonna be really quickly, okay? I want you to look at the score and and, and let me know if you see anything, right? So if you're looking at the score, you should see a small blip happening. Now, if you don't see that, just go back and um, and replay like the last five seconds and don't look at the apple, just look at the score and you're gonna see it go, it'd be like zero and then it becomes something and it goes right back to zero, right? Like, in, like instantly. Um, and the reason for that is because Let's just think about what's happening in the program. Okay, where is this located? It's inside of the while loop, which means that the while loop, remember, will continue to loop around. So let's say that the score is zero, which it is. Um, we go down, we eat an apple, it becomes a one. We display that one, but then when we go back around to the loop, which is right here, right? Remember, it's not up here, it's up here, here. It sets the score back to zero, right? So it's like you only need like, it's gonna, it's gonna display the one for like a nanosecond and then go right back out, right? Or like one sixtieth of a second. So which is like almost instantaneously. Um, and so that's why we need to have the score on the outside so that even when we are going through the loops, it will change the score, but that change will be, will be made outside of the loop so that we'll just keep displaying the current score every one sixtieth of a second or whatever our FPS is. Okay, so I think that's all I want to do just for this very short video because I want to uh, the next ones are going to be a little bit longer We're going to be adding length to the snake um, And that might be like a two-part video just because there's so much to understand when you're just drawing an additional body part on the snake Okay